Forza Motorsport is out now in early access and, like always, I end up tweaking a bunch of settings to make the game feel more responsive and less heavy. Unlike my other videos though, on this one I'll cover settings for both the Xbox controller and the DualSense. If you're on Steam, the DualSense is supported natively, just make sure you enable PlayStation controller support in the controller settings on the Steam app. If you have the game on the Microsoft Store, you're gonna have to use an app to emulate the controller. That's a topic for a different video, so I'm not gonna cover that here. Anyways, onto the settings. First, head down onto the settings, then scroll all the way to the right until you see Advanced Controller. The settings are mostly the same from my previous videos, with just one small difference. I'll start with the Xbox controller settings first. Steering access that zone inside, 24 is too much, it basically means that almost 25% of your input is not gonna get picked up by the controller, so you end up overcorrecting most of the time. Since the analog on the Xbox controller is a bit more sensitive, we're gonna drop it all the way down to 5. If you're having stick drift issues, bump it up a few points and see if it works for you. For steering access that zone outside, it's the opposite. We want to bump it up to 100 to make the response curve as linear as possible. It's kind of counterintuitive in the sense that the higher the value, the less input your car needs to turn in, but if you drop it down too much, it'll make your car nearly impossible to control. 100 gives us the smoothest and most linear possible response curve. Acceleration access that zone inside will set at zero so that the car responds the moment you give it gas, and the outside will round it up to 100 for the same reason as the steering setting. We want it to be as linear as possible. That means you're gonna have to modulate your gas a little bit to have your car behave, but if you have trouble with that, you can drop that value down a couple points until it feels comfortable. The deceleration access that zone is for your brakes. Same deal here, zero for the inside, 100 for the outside. Clutch will only make a difference if you're on a wheel, but I like to keep it at 0, 100, like the others, just for peace of mind. That also applies to the handbrake. Unless you're using a physical handbrake, it's not gonna make a difference, but it doesn't hurt to keep it in line with the clutch. Vibration scale is up to you. It doesn't make any difference in how your car handles, so set it however you like. Steering self-alignment is a new option in Forza, and it also only applies to wheels. Leave it at 100. For the DualSense, the only thing you're gonna change is the very first option, the steering axis dead zone inside. The analog stick on the DualSense is a lot more precise, so dropping it down to 2 is gonna give you a very nice and smooth response curve. I'll leave you with a couple seconds of gameplay I capture on the DualSense to give you an idea of what's possible. Anyways, that's all I have for this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in my next video.